Well, they did it. <laughs> While I was gone for the summer, uh, AWS Educate uh, had this nice little error message, at, well, not an error message, a warning that it was going away um, and that you needed to move. Uh, I tried to sneak a couple credits in there and I don't think they got approved um, so that I could uh, take care of courses for the next two semesters, but uh, we'll see how we, how we uh, coast on by. But uh, anyway, so, if you've used AWS Educate before, it's saying, hey, the tools have moved. Now use AWS Academy. So, they were different but complementary resources. I used AWS Educate for students to be able to play, have a playground. So, a, uh, AWS Academy now has learning labs that can do some of that. Um, some of the things it's not going to be able to do, uh, well, I have a system administration course where we use lots of EC2 instances and they leave them up. Well, that's not going to work anymore. So we'll, I'll play with that some and try and I'll have to adjust how I do some things. But um, so if you come to AWS Academy, uh, I am an associate. So I can actually do the cloud practitioner or the associate level uh, learning labs. So I decided to start a course with the associate because I'm going to have to play with it and learn. And I expect the associate probably has a little bit more than the practitioner associates the second level. So um, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I've, I've got this up ready to uh, play with it. So I have switched to student view. So if you are a professor, you you'll see the managerial features. Um, unless you go to student view uh, when you do it. So this is a really simple course you, that is just the lab. So you can assign this to many different classes. Um, so uh, by the way, if you do put people in from multiple classes, just a warning, you can't let people from multiple sections or different classes talk to each other and realize that they're in a different class. So just disable the discussions. This is one uh, course that they let the professors do that at this point in time. I don't know if they'll keep doing that, but they do at this point in time. So it would be acceptable from what I can see um, for you to put multiple sections and multiple courses in one lab. Um, I don't know what the size limit is. In the past, it's been like 30 or or, or so or 50. So we'll see um, how many labs I end up using. We'll play with it. Um, but worst case is you'll create a lab for each a lab course for each of your of your sections that will need to use this functionality. So uh, the learning lab. It is similar to a lot of the a a other AWS courseware, which uh, I, I really love the courseware. It's the professional content that they give uh, to working professionals. Uh, and the labs are ran the same way. So you come in here, it, there's detailed instructions and stuff, but since this is just a lab environment, um, they're going to be, they're extremely uh, vague because it's just, this is for you to come and play. Where the, most of the others is here's the step-by-step -step instructions to get something done. So I want to bring up something because uh, one of the issues I've had in the past, uh, so I use AWS Educate for quite a few things, but there were IAM restrictions. Same with most of these labs. So uh, one of the things I use it, use it for is lambdas. So if we come down here and we find lambda, ha, cool, that was fast. Um, it mentions that, hey, anytime you create a Lambda, if it needs functions, just assign this role. So they have a role that's made very poorly because it has tons of security, uh, most likely. So you can do whatever you want with it. Um, but that's what we have to do in order to, to do labs. Because if you gave access to IAM, um, then it kind of, you can kind of tweak your access to do almost whatever you want. So there's, there's challenges there that they have to deal with. So anyway, it's, it's, here you can just start the lab. It'll start up. Um, we, as we look here, there are, are a lot of things you can do. So some of the things that I'm going to have to figure out if they'll work and how they work um, is, uh, number one, this is a 
a lab, so it ticks down to when it stops. Now, it's different than a lot of the other labs in that it stops, but it doesn't destroy. So uh, it, if you look at EC2, um, there's a note, I think it's towards the top, that w after, w when the session timer runs to zero, uh, the session will end, but the, it, things won't be retired. So running instances as EC2 may be stopped, so some things will be stopped. Um, I'm going to be playing with this to see if that's going to interfere with some things. So, for example, I used AWS Educate for students to be able to host websites on S3. So, will I still be able to do that with this learning lab even when the lab's not in session so I can grade them whenever we get around to grading them uh, and pull down the code? Um, that will be something we'll play with. Um, the other thing I've used it for is uh, outside of AWS learning, uh, kind of augmenting other learning, is system administration. So spinning up a bunch of EC2 instances and, and managing them and, and uh, patching them and setting them up um, specifically in Linux. Um, so these, these are some things that uh, I've done, but now um, after a certain of time, you, you can't just leave it up forever and host a web page from an EC2 because it'll shut it down. I'll play with some ways to maybe get around it. Um, I might create a Lambda to see if I can start my instance through a Lambda. Um, and if I can do that, maybe it'll keep going because the session timer is not ticking. Um, so we'll, see, we'll, we'll play with some things. Um, all, all for trying to, to make things useful the way we need to. But um, so if you look here, it does say it's a hundred dollars. So this is per student per course that you create. So that's a lot. So that should be uh, plenty, but you see this is taking quite a while. Um, AWS details will be where you'll get your um, credentials for if you're gonna be doing any uh, uh, command line interface CLI uh, type work or some programmatic interface with the APIs. So uh, that's where you get your secret um, and your secret key. So of course there's the readme as well and there's the ability to reset. Once again this reset resets the timer. If you look down here it kind of mentions that timer. Uh, I'm sure we'll all learn as we continue to use it and better understand this. But it's a sad day to see AWS Educate uh, going away, but I think that this is probably a step in the right direction, although there's some things I've been doing um, that I don't know how well they'll work, so we'll keep playing. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll try and make videos on some of those things that I'm, I'm gonna play with so that we can learn together and see if uh, we can do this successfully. So, thank you.